Well, I guess while I'll be doing this inventory management time, I will start to start by saying that this segment will be dedicated or will be going directly towards YouTube or YouTube video. So hi YouTube, hi viewers, the one who will be watching this on YouTube. I appreciate that. Thank you for doing so. Keep doing this. You're doing great, guys. Nevertheless, uh, I would want to address this issue or this kind of topic of should some classes be nerfed and or buffed? Um, according to the question that one of my viewers had asked. When it comes to... What so he asked the following, like, what do you think about buffing? Uh, what do you think about nerfing other classes? The top tier classes like sorceress and paladin on the same to, to make them be on the same level as other underpowered classes slash specs like barbarian the clays that are played the least amount of times and by least amount of people um to which i say yes my opinion could be flawed you could easily disagree with me that's your choice i personally believe that nerfing top tier classes like paladin and sorceress which I consider to be top tier by most of people's opinion, including myself, it's not gonna do anything unless you take into account nerfing them to the ground, basically making them unplayable. Why? Because it's pretty much the same reason that it's pretty much the same thing like with other S tier classes in other games. Um, like MOBA or any other competitive games, you would, you would consider multiplayer like MOBAs, MMORPGs, or even single-player games with some competitive elements like Battle of Exile, for instance. Nerfing certain classes, n nerfing OP classes will not going to make people stop playing OP classes if you don't nerf them to the ground. Because they will still have an easiest the easiest access to the damage to the defense or they are not gear dependent at all uh, they could clear all of the content with the greatest of ease in comparison to other classes and it will not going to force or make people all of a sudden um drop them and start playing less popular classes because the issue you'd have to think about it this way okay let's say one day blizzard decides to nerf popular classes like paladin and sorcerers and then what what do you think that all uh, all the other people will go and uh, would suddenly begin to create barbarians and start playing them but for what reason because what because barbarians start uh, became powerful no because because like druid uh, summoner all of a sudden became on the equal level as necromancer summoner no so the issue here in my uh, from my point of view is the fact that the, the solution well the solution and the issue is I should I consider that they have to actually buff unpopular specs not to the point to make them overpowered but at least on the to be on equal footing more or less with uh, other classes maybe even more or less with sorceress and paladin tune them down yeah sure but don't nerf them to the ground and likewise don't buff them to the insane level this way you will create first of all you'll create motivation for other people to keep playing them uh to try something new to keep playing them and secondly you would solve at least partially the issue of having those unpopular slash unbalanced or badly designed specs like i have already said on the previous stream uh, as the answer partial answer to my viewer that when it comes to those unpopular specs people will still not going to be using them if you nerf s tier classes to put it simply and yeah that, that's that, this is what i consider to be like a big a big kind of a deal now as far as the balancing stuff and it's kind of funny because i as a person who plays not only hack and flash rpgs but periodically i play off stream in some fighting games the same thing happens in even in fighting games and my brother plays in moba games too the only time people will stop using over most people will stop using overpowered quote-unquote specs is when they are nerfed to the ground when they are completely unplayable this is where people would want to find the find the alternatives find any kind of characters any kind of solutions to be 
uh, able to clear the game content or to be able to PvP the other people more effectively when it comes to multiplayer PvP games. Uh, or farm if we're talking about single player games like PvE kind of stuff. So yeah, like I... This is like, this is like my, uh, my uh, idea. Again, like, m just make the unpopular specs buff them, like, make them both, like, the damage numbers are mechanically competitive or, uh, or at least viable on the same level as we already have. Like, I don't understand, like, the idea or the, how should I say it, the approach that they have made with Summoner Druid, it should be... If not on the if not on the same level, but at least not super not um very not very weak in comparison to Summoner Necromancer. But we have currently what we have, and nerfing Paladin and Sorceress doesn't gonna make Summoner a Druid. Does it's it won't gonna make Barbarian. It won't gonna make Fury Druid play better. Every it's like where. Yeah, you could argue as a counter argument, like when everybody is broken, uh, nobody is weak or nobody is broken, something like that. But I can argue with a counter argument too, like when everybody is weak, nobody is strong. Again, just as, like I've told you, assume that one day Paladin and Sorceress will be nerfed, and then what? Nerfed to the ground, like to the point when they uh, all of them are unplayable. Are you gonna see the insurgence of barbarian hordes in the multiplayer or summoner druids? Of course not. The, in my opinion, you, you should if if and that's a big if if they're gonna tune in some portions of the mechanics. What the hell was that? The hell would I just hurt? So yeah, like if they're gonna nerf some kind of mechanics when it comes to games, I say when it comes to this game, I'd say it's gonna be more or less like tuning in. Uh, get out of here, mosquito! Tuning in some sort of classes to make them on more or less equal footing, like unpopular specs, and slightly, slightly, maybe just slightly decreasing the power of more powerful specs. That's that's my uh, look at it. So again, if you watch it on YouTube, again, thanks for watching it. Make sure you subscribe and leave a like uh, on that video. Once it will be dropped on my YouTube channel, link to which you'll find in the description in a separate tab. But from my opinion, I'll continue, from my part, I'll continue moving onwards.